Awesome. Hello. Doing a video. There's no one here next to me. Not Denny or Jason. Not so, Jason. At least. Not Jason. Jason's not Denny. Not next Maybe door. neither one of them want to be on camera, and it would just be rude to try to, you know, force that to happen. So Hi, these are Jason's fingers. Yeah, so it's not happening. So just, if you hear anything that sounds like them, you don't have to pay attention to it because they're not here. They don't want to be on video. They don't want to be on YouTube. They've got other important business to take care of. I think. Anyway, yeah. Fireman's Beach. Oh, it's nice down here. Maybe you want to just see what's happening. Well, you can. If I hold this up. There, what's that? Oh, that's the lake. Oh, very nice. It's nobody else here, remember. Not anybody. Just me. By myself. Yep. I'm a solo traveler. Okay, they're here. Is that what you wanted to know? Is that what you wanted to hear? They're here. Hi, Denny. Hello. Hi, Jason. Hi. But they don't want to be seen. Actually, I already announced my presence. I wanted my fingers to be seen. That was it. Though. Yeah. You know, you have to respect a person. It's not right to just... My fingers are the only thing fit for viewing right now. I mean, it's not right to just put someone on a video if they're not into it. That's very it's, true. It's not... Um, it's just not a good idea. So, what were you guys talking about? <laughs> oh, sorry. Never mind. Yeah, here we are. Fireman's Beach. Wondering if Chris is going to show up. And, uh, I called him. Sent him a text. Didn't hear back. I don't know where he is. I don't know who he is. I don't know what he's doing. But, I know he's apparently not here at Fireman's Beach at this picnic table that's he's not I don't think he's coming what did you want to talk about oh I don't know I just me talk <laughs> I'm so shy it's hard for me to carry on a conversation you know <laughs> how about the shade a big tree gives to oh, all the people. Yeah, shade. You mean like throwing shade or or giving shade? Yeah, giving shade. <laughs> I'm just giving kidding. Shade. <laughs> giving Yeah, it does give shade. Actually, Definite shade. Yeah, and you know what's actually cool about shade on a big tree that Mick never that, I mean that I never really considered be, before we're taking pictures is taking pictures of the shadows that a tree shows on the ground yeah you know? and that you can actually get some pretty cool shapes yeah the funny thing about that is it only hap works that way at certain times of the year yeah right like in the winter no shade no shade summer shade shade requires the summer breeze yes with the summer trees because it makes you feel fine. Right. It makes you feel fine. Yeah, have you ever been out, Denny, and um, it started to rain and you didn't have um, anything to deal with it, so you went under a tree? Oh, yes. How about you, I've Bon? I stayed dry. Uh, probably. I don't remember any specific instances, though. Huh. I'm sure I have, though. <clears throat> More, I more often than not have probably gone in a building. Though. In a building. Because right. I, I, I'm one of those people that like if I know it's gonna rain and I want to take a walk, I usually will, you know, put off the walk until it stops raining. Usually. Well, sometimes you're just out. Yeah. And you get caught. But if well, that's true. If you're in a, a town or something, <coughs> it's usually a, easily a place to get out of the rain. Or what about when you're taking your groceries to your your car and it it's just raining cats and dogs, as they say. 
Yeah, what about that? I don't know. It's Well, what do you think about trees and shade, Denny? Yeah, what do you think, Denny? I think it makes you feel good. Yeah. It's just a feel good kind of a thing. We take it for granted, but on a hot day, it's pretty shade. And it will give you much peace. Yeah, it is peaceful. You can take a nap, actually, under a tree. Yeah, right. You can set up a chair. Thank you. And, uh, or a, uh, Barca lounger. Or a Barca lounger. <clears throat> yeah, that is a possible thing you can do. Yep. Mm-hmm. That is a possible thing to do. Toodaloo, toodaloo. Toodalee, toodawa. Yep. Yeah, one thing about Mama Bears, it didn't have any shade around it. No, no, there was no shade. But yeah, they had there was a, no shade. They did have an awning, though. Yeah. Which is... Yeah, I, no matter how many times you went over there, you couldn't find any shade. Yeah, <clears throat> I do remember that, actually. Well, Denny, have you ever heard of the expression of throwing shade? I've heard that. Do you know what that means? We didn't use that in the 60s. No, it's a modern, it's a modern. Right. Well, more modern than the 60s. Yeah, we did not use that. Do you know what it means, though? Explain it to me. Well, if you're throwing shade, you're kind of talking bad about someone, or you're criticizing them, okay. or you're, you know, Is, just, it's not complimentary information and it can either be in person towards that person or behind their back okay right so like, I guess you could say you're implying that they are a shady person well but the throwing shade Maybe. means you're doing that to someone else okay you're trying to put them down in some form yes yeah, and of course I know you would down. I know you would never do that I try not to. Jason would never do it. You really don't. I would try not to, although I probably have once or twice I've in my life. Me. But yeah, throwing shade is just saying things about now, someone else. there are some else. political characters that, that I would be willing to throw some Oh, you shade would in. shade the living shit out of them, yeah. I think, yeah. if <laughs> you were the type of person that could uh, would do that. But you're not. Say, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of uh, shade in politics, lots oh, of shade, yeah, massive shade, darkness, so dark. Hey, I have to pause this for a second. Darkness, you said darkness, yes, and and where does that come from? You know, darkness as a oh, the skit, the skit, it comes oh, from skit, Rick James, yeah, Rick James, yep. So, anyway, that's the story. Um, of, of shade trees and throwing shade and moonbeams and moonbeams. Have you ever watched a moon? moon blah, 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 blah. <laughs> ever watched a, a moonbeam? I have watched I a moonbeam yeah. as it slid across your window. Pane. Yeah, or yeah, and it comes into the, the room. Yeah, yeah it's right. wonderful. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. Have you ever danced upon the weather vane? I have tried. Or settled on a bit of rain. <laughs> I have danced. No, upon Denny, the but I'm guessing rain. you have. I have. Yes. Did you hurt yourself when you danced upon the weather vane? Not really. <laughs> I never fell off. <laughs> well, what about you? Song by Harry. Harry Nelson. <clears throat> Well, what about you, Mick? Have you ever, what, what's your experience with, you know, shady trees and what are some of the thoughts you have about it? Oh, I like trees. And I rain like drops. I like being under trees. Um, I think about that sometimes when I go for walks, like if it's warm, 
Yeah. I'd rather be in a place that's shadier yeah. to walk. You know? Have you ever walked on Shady Avenue in Conneaut Lake? I've done. Yes, I have been to Shady Avenue yeah. and Money Avenue. A lot of trees on that avenue. There was. Mm -hmm. I know all about the avenues on the east side. What's well, the, I mean, I know enough. What's the avenue that has the dome house what, over there? The dome house. Yeah. Which place um, is that? I that's can't remember. right down from Highland. I, I can't name it. Is it... Uh, I don't I know the name. I can't know. remember the name either. I'll tell you who would know that. Tracy Farkas. Yeah. Yeah. She would know. She would know that. Her family lived right there beside that house for years. Oh, did years. she? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. The Igloo house. Is that Joe's? No, her dad would have been... Uh, The Tracy we know. We know two Tracys. Which yeah, Tracy? her dad was uh, John. Yeah. John Farkas. <clears throat> yep. Just, uh... oh, look at those nice clowns. Yeah, I, I do think about trees. I do think about shade. I like shade. I like trees. Are we on a live stream? No. No? Oh, this no. is going to be a video. It might be a video. I mean, it is technically being videotaped or whatever, but who knows? Could be. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Maybe yes. Maybe so. Maybe. But anyway, this is what you do just for those anyone's watching this when you're at some place and you want to do a video what he's talking to oh and the people you're with are just just not into it man it's like no like they just don't want to so you know you can be in a video but not show your face too you can right. just be yes. in it with your voice kind of like what just happened. Anyway, gonna wrap it up, gonna tie a bow on it and say it's done. Right on, man. So, anyway, thanks. For, if you've made it this far, you're one of the few. <laughs> uh, thanks. Bye.